Hey there, spiritual seekers. Today, I'm diving into the profound wisdom of hadiths and comparing them with the teachings of some of the greatest philosophers. Let's see how these perspectives can enrich our understanding of this world, dunya, and beyond. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The world is a prison for the believer and a paradise for the disbeliever. This hadith emphasizes the constraints and challenges a believer faces in this world while striving for the hereafter. In contrast, those who do not believe may find worldly pleasures more accessible, but for them, this world is all they have. Now, let's shift gears to Socrates. He famously said, the unexamined life is not worth living. For Socrates, the value of this world lies in the pursuit of wisdom and self-knowledge. A meaningful life is one where we continually seek to understand ourselves and our place in the world. Another profound hadith states, If this world were worth a mosquito's wing in the sight of Allah, he would not give a disbeliever a drink of water from it. This highlights the insignificance of the world in comparison to the hereafter. Despite its seeming importance to many, the true value of the world is negligible in the sight of Allah. Aristotle comes into play with his concept of eudaimonia, often translated as flourishing or happiness. He believed that the highest good is achieving a state of fulfillment through virtuous living. According to Aristotle, the value of this world is in achieving personal and communal well-being through the practice of virtues like courage, temperance, and wisdom. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also said, be in this world as though you were a stranger or a wayfarer. This hadith advises believers to treat the world as a temporary stop, focusing on their final destination, the hereafter. It encourages living a life that prepares one for the eternal life to come. Immanuel Kant believed the value of this world is found in adhering to a moral law that we impose on ourselves through reason. He introduced the concept of the categorical imperative, which means acting according to maxims that can be universally applied. Kant believed that living a moral life gives our existence value. The ethical choices we make define the worth of our lives and contribute to a just and orderly world. Lastly, let's talk about Albert Camus and his exploration of absurdism. Camus suggested that we must find our own value in life despite the conflict between our desire for meaning and an indifferent universe. He believed that the value of this world lies in our ability to confront the absurd and live with passion, creativity, and integrity. By embracing the struggle, we create our own meaning. To wrap it all up, the world is temporary and a test for believers. True value lies in the hereafter, and the worldly life should be lived with that perspective. Believers are encouraged to focus on their spiritual journey and eternal success. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it insightful, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We have plenty more thought-provoking content coming your way. Also, be sure to check out our other video on related topic. Click here to watch it now. See you next time.